Okay guys, so today you're going to see me work my two one-year-old dogs. They're relatively inexperienced, this is really their first big road trip with us. To top it all off, we're in Bamba, Alberta here. So we're walking along the river. I'm going to be working on their overall obedience, keeping them nice and tight, giving them a mixture of free time, and then also asking them to be obedient. And you're going to kind of see how I work them through that. It's not going to be perfect, but I don't expect them to be perfect at this age and with this level of experience. So, off we go. Okay, dizzy, quick. Good. So as you can see guys, these are young dogs, they're only a year old, so I'm doing the work necessary to ensure that they're going to be super tight by the time they're two years old. So you're going to see me reward them more than you see me reward dogs that you see in the past on my channel, like my two Malwas that I was doing all this stuff with. We're actually in the exact same location that I did a lot of that work with my last two Malwas, Bastion and Nova. So you're going to see me reward these guys more, remind them more, and correct them more if necessary. They're both a little bit more antisocial. So she's a little more like nervy, a little bit nervy, a little bit sensitive. Sometimes she gets weirded out by stuff. She's a little bit more naturally defensive. What I'm doing to get them super tight is I'm taking them through all of this stuff. I'm putting them to work. I'm rewarding them. I'm correcting them. I'm just making sure they're super good at all of it. Down. You see, a little bit slow, right? That's okay. With me. Okay. And off we go. Every time now, let them drink as love as they can. And then I'll call them back with the obedience. Gage has been struggling a bit on the transitions to the obedience, so that's something that I'm going to work on with him. That's something i got to put a little pressure on him for and kind of ask him to be a little bit better than what he's been. Gage, with me. Right there, your side. I said with me, what did he do? He went for the water. Now I'm going to break him again and we'll do it again. Gage, with me. Ah, that's better. That transition was much higher quality. So that was exactly what I'm looking for. So you can see that with Dizzy, I actually don't correct her ever, really. I just remind her. Because 99.9% .9 of the time, that's good enough for her. Believe it or not, I actually spend more time training Gage, but he's just much more of a primal dog, and he's very driven, and he's very resilient. If you ever want to get away from nagging your dog, you do need to be kind of a little bit ruthless in holding the dog accountable. Just as you reward, you must also correct. Otherwise, you will end up with nothing. All right, guys, we're here at the farmer's market. So I'm going to get some really good practice in at the farmer's market. I expect that they're going to be a little looser in there. I've put leashes on but they're just hooked into my belt loop there. So you can see, you know, there's really no pressure on the leash, just there. And really, again, they're young, a little bit inexperienced, so I have no problem, um, you know, putting the leash on there a little bit and just extra piece of safety just until they're where I need them to be. We're gonna go into the farmer's market. We're gonna see how they do. This is one thing when you're working your dogs, you gotta recognize who are you dealing with? You can see with this guy, it doesn't take much to get him up. Right? With her, right? I gotta keep her up. Yeah, buddy! Get her, get, 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 get. Right? Like, you gotta do this kind of stuff with her. Break. It's really important to be able to recognize what you're working with and deal with it appropriately. So I'm gonna keep working them a little more. I'm gonna do things like where I make them do right turns, stuff like this, because it really makes him think a little bit. He, he has to put his butt back. Break. And then I'll make him down. So sometimes I'm in a situation where I need to situate the dogs while I'm doing something. So this is where I practice kind of generalizing the place command for them. And I practice sending them to different places. The dogs stay on the place until they're, you know, given the command to come off. And then I'll just transition them right from coming off into another behavior like a heel. Because I work the behaviors in isolation first. I get them really good, but then I really start practicing transitions from the place to the heel, and so on and so forth. And then the dogs become super tuned in. But it's something that you have to really practice with them. Because if you don't practice it, then you see the behavior starting to decline. Okay, Dizzy, with me. Ah, 